our hell. Effect in the cause, curtain falls, but hold your applause. Squirm, squirm, for now down here come the claws. Preposterous that any of us are alive. Maybe we're not. Pinch yourself and check we're not dreaming the last of our lives as we die screaming. I was just about quite all right with the amount of fight he put up. If anything, I would have preferred less. What a wonderful, jubilant, glorious day. My beautiful sister is mostly intact. You could have broken her in half like a breadstick, but you didn't. I am sorry she fought you. I'm glad she survived.
You don't know the half of what she did. When we were children, she always kept the last piece of pastry for me and bloodied the nose of the bullies who pulled my hair. She's my sister. I love her. And despite all the years I've lost, I have enough love left for you as well. I hope it guides you home. For the first time since you heard her voice, hope seems calm and the peace flows from her into you, soothing your very soul. Nowhere but here. I don't quite think I know where anywhere else is anymore. With a lick of paint and a thorough cleaning, this could be a lovely little house. And I can hardly leave. After all, who would ever want to think of hell without hope? I hope I'll see Carilla again one day. And that she'll say sorry. And I'll tell her she's forgiven. I hope I find all the pieces of my mind that fell out of my head over all those years and that I'll be able to put myself back together again. I hope the echoes of pain will fade and memories of sorrow will die and that you'll visit me here someday. And I hope you have a happy ending of your own. Fine. Let's just get in and get out. viewed from the safety of this balcony, I think. Relative safety. Anyway. Oh, are the gods truly this petty? Wipe yourself off, man. You dead. So you wormed your way into the devil's lair, risked mind, limb, and freedom, all to steal the Orphic Hammer. I hope your ambitions end there. I have already told you that the Githyanki Prince only wants to see you dead. But it seems you still do not trust me. That is not my definition of trust. You are falling into the same trap as the Chosen. Their distrust of one another is their undoing. We must not make the same mistake. We must work together. I'm disappointed to hear that. Nonetheless, our fates are bound. And in the absence of a happier union, 
I will accept a useful one. You may think yourself ingenious for having slain a devil, but you have merely ironed out a wrinkle. The Elder Brain will not be such an easy foe. It is time we resume our journey to find it. Careful, soldier. I'm burning really hot. <sighs> Had a nice break in the hells. Now that we're back, my engine's in overdrive again. <clears throat> Let's move. A trot will take my mind off being barbecued alive. <laughs> no amount of contracts will save Raphael from the fate we forced upon him. A devil well slain, if I say so myself. That's the last of Raphael. I'll be glad to no longer have to suffer his smug face. Copper for your thoughts. Ugh, thank the gods it's over, I say. My last trip to the Hells ever, ever. No such thing as a home in the Hells. If Hope's happy, good for her. But mark my words, some devil or other will push in and claim the place sooner or later. Stick around in Avernus long enough, and you'll run out of hope entirely. No, soldier. I'd rather live out my days in the world I love, than live forever in a world I hate. I don't know much, but I do know that. Another step forward. Trips to the Hells are usually one way, especially when the Traveler causes the kind of trouble you did. I knew you were a thief, didn't realize you were a killer. Raphael's death is already causing quite a stir across the Hells. It's a rare thing for a mortal to slay a devil of his stature. In all the excitement, I hope you didn't forget our bargain. Do you have the gauntlets? We had a deal. Not a subtle point, but well made. Keep the gauntlets. Your threats aren't necessary, but your coin is still welcome, Devil Slayer. Superior officer, I think I'll delegate all the sentry shit to Gonfallon and catch me a nap. Move along, citizen. Nothing to see here. You aren't a stonemason by any chance? Nah, suppose not. You one of Tamrin's friends? Well, we haven't seen him. He did a runner one night, never came back. You won't find him here. Is harmless. 
It's street art. If you don't like it, you can literally walk away. Oh, well, that's nice to hear. Thanks. These artist types are always so soft, aren't they? You make one little comment and their egos crumble to dust. Here's a tip. Latest Boulder's Mouth edition. Oh, dynamite. That Lord. As you can see, there's no trouble here, right? And I'm sure you don't want to cause any. Be patient while these citizens are evaluated. This is all routine. Make no sudden moves. I wish we could get this over with. If I don't make my deliveries, I don't get paid. I stole an apple once when I was nine. But that thing won't know about it. I hope. Greetings, citizen Fluffington. I trust you are enjoying... Gods, this is totally obnoxious. But I guess I'd better keep my lips sewn shut, eh? We're rooting out disloyal elements among the problem citizens, all right? Now move along. Cliffgate? That can't possibly be you, can it? <gasps> Fitz! If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Where the hells have you been, girl? Last I heard you'd run off to Neverwinter, and that was what? Ten years ago? <laughs> Neverwinter? <laughs> Who told you that? Gortash. Said you didn't even give notice. Ha! <laughs> that prick, but... <sighs> Never mind that. Look at you. The years have been good to you. I won't lie. They have. Of course. This is Fitz. One of my old mates from the neighborhood. We grew up together, moved to the lower city together, even worked together for you know who. Do you see he's the Archduke now? What the fuck, right? Right? Oh, I'm sure the fox will make a great duke of the hen house. I think you were the only thing that kept him a little honest. After you left, things got dark, fast. I got out while my soul was still intact. Started working for an arms merchant. Still in the trade, as you can see. Met my fellow Gregor that way. We've been together eight years now. And Carlac, we have a little one on the way. Fitz! That's incredible! Congratulations! Mum life, huh? You're going to be incredible. Gods, I hope so. Even after all these years, it seemed to happen so fast. But now that you're back in town, you must come to ours. All of you. We'll have a good supper, catch up. You can meet Gregor. And the little one, in a few months. Are the two of you together? Ew, no. Just mates. Very good mates. Oh, that's lovely. It's a pleasure to meet you. I can't tell you how good it is to see you, Fitz. I'd love to come have dinner with you and Gregor. We're in the city on some urgent business, but can I come find you when it's all settled? I'd love that. Meanwhile, if you're still in the business of intimidation, you should take a look at my stock. Hope that wasn't a lie. I hope we do get to meet up with Fitz when this is all over. First step, save the city. Then, save myself. And last but not least, dinner with an old friend. What more could you ask for? There ain't no one coming to help us. We are. Ourselves. 
flims cobblers walk in a pauper, strut out a duke. Be very welcome to Flim's Cobblers, humble family home of our Archduke Enver Gortash. He may not have followed in his old man's shoe steps, but Archduke's not so bad, is it? Gortash's dad. Same treatment as his mum, I guess. What an accusation. You've got the wrong family. Enver's the light of our lives. He grew up right in these walls. First my apprentice, then savior of the city, and on to Archduke. Nothing untoward about it, I assure you. Finest leather in the city, ask anyone. Ah, sir, you've chosen a special day to visit the family home of Archduke Enver Gortash. We're celebrating our dear son's magnificent achievement with a special run of leather-soled shoes. Gods, Gortash has a mother. I assumed he sprang fully formed from a lich's arse crack or something. Tadpoles, squirms. These people are infected with the parasite, but something is off. You search her mind, but the psionic forces that control her are different, split somehow. Your own consciousness slips into the gap. Help me, God, help me! Enver's ruined my mind. He's taken my body. I should have slammed the door in his face, but I let him in and he ran some kind of worm in our eyes. I'm here, but I can't speak. I can't act. I'm trapped. You can't leave me like this. You can't leave me in this hell. We hadn't seen him in so long. I knew he was an animal, but I underestimated him. He sauntered in Lord Gortash. What a name. Conjured up like a cheap trick. Said he was back for good. And he wanted to repay us for his childhood. Still bitter after all these years, but we did what was best for him, for all of us. We had debts, world-ending debts, trying to keep this cursed shop afloat. Dangerous lenders who said they'd bury us all if we didn't pay. Then a warlock offered us a pretty penny for Enver's service. He was a smart boy. Too smart. It was give him up and all of us live or refuse and die. What choice did we have? We got good coin for him. 
closed our decks and all of us kept our lives. Enver included. You may disagree, Enver did, but we don't deserve this, this torment. You're the first person who's heard the real me in months. My son, you've seen what he's like, same now as when he was a boy. Hateful little wretch. If you were me, you'd have sent him away too, believe you me. There has to be another way. I deserve to live again. I deserve my own life. Maybe, maybe not. It's for the gods to judge me. Not my wicked son, and not you. Wait, wait! Your tadpole lashes and recoils. The connection is broken. Come again soon. Another step forward. Cultist curse? Been addled by an absolutist incantation? Not sure? Best stock up on charms, just in case. Protection, of course. Who knows the horrors these cultists have up their sleeves? Can't be too prepared. Look at me like that. I'm not stupid. I know it's probably a scam, but what if it's not? I should speak out. Sorry, we can't sell you the broadsheet yet. Got to take my stinky break first. Boring. Look, pal. You want a broadsheet? You'll have to wait. I'm taking my break. You got a problem with that? Talk to the Gazetteers Guild. I got rights, you know. Here's a tip. Latest boulder's mouth. Just one gold piece. Yes. Um, arms for the poor. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot, the smell of death. Anything you can spare for a humble beggar? That devil! Drink! I spent it all. Oh, thank you. Such mm. generosity. More beggars than customers these days. Suppose I should count my blessings. <laughs> <laughs> 